New at 11, a CBS 46 exclusive. And this weekend, protesters and counter-protesters are scheduled to descend upon Stone Mountain Park. At the center of it all is the largest Confederate monument in the world. The event comes about two years after a similar rally turned violent. CBS 46's Brittany Miller looks into what we can expect. At least 2,000 militia members are set to storm Stone Mountain Saturday. We will be at City of Stone Mountain without a doubt on Saturday. In an exclusive interview, spokesperson for the Confederate State's three percenters, Guy Gramet, says they're not looking to cause trouble, but are assembling to protect the Confederate monument, exercise their rights, and... There's a portion of it that is in response to the group that showed up, I think it's about six weeks ago, and pretended like they made some big statement. Gramet is talking about this rally on July 4th when an armed all-black militia went to the park protesting against the Confederate carving. I've learned on Saturday different groups will also show up as counter-protesters. Always seize the opportunity to protest against the celebration of America's foe, which was the Confederate States of America. Atlanta NAACP President Richard Rose calling the militia men white supremacists. They have different names, but it's basically Ku Klux Klan all over. The so any narrative that states that we're, you know, racist, you know, white supremacists, it's, it's, it's completely absurd. It's unclear what will happen when the two groups meet on Saturday. Both plan on showing up, even though CBS 46 discovered the Stone Mountain Memorial Association denied the three percenters permit, citing a rally in 2016 where members of the three percent were, quote, involved in violence and put visitors and employees in jeopardy. Park leaders say they will deal with militia members when they show up. In the meantime, we do know the city is on standby and also preparing to take action. I also discovered that in order to get the monument at Stone Mountain removed, you have to first change the law that protects it. Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News. Shalom, 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 Israel. This is uh, Captain Paul Israel from Kingdom Builders of Israel LLC. And today's class uh topic is going to be on the scriptures cannot be broken okay today's class topic is going to be on the scriptures cannot be broken okay recently we had in uh, atlanta georgia there was a incident according to the news about um i guess a certain type of protest being done in stone mountain georgia uh this past saturday on um august uh, 15th 2020 um it was an incident that occurred recently uh they uh you have like some people that was a part of the rebel flag movement um some white people they gathered uh on that particular day on the 15th of august to protest against uh somewhat of the march that took place uh by um a black organization that decided to march and protest against the um, the rebel history as far as the on the stone on the, at Stone Mountain. Uh, so right now, as we can see, the scriptures cannot be broken. We understand uh, racial tension is on a on a going to increase on the rise. So just imagine when you don't have no money coming in. When the American dollar is going to collapse, you can just imagine where the turn of events is going to occur. Everybody's going to cleave to their own people. Right now, it's like a big melting pot right now. But eventually, you know, the people are going to separate themselves amongst each other. You're going to have the blacks with the blacks. You're going to have the whites with the whites. And so forth with the other nations. They're going to be all separate eventually down the road. Uh, but as we can see, tensions are rising uh, based upon what we've been reading, Bible prophecy. Most people didn't believe that the purge was going to happen as far as uh, that type of scenario being taking place in the United States of America and also the other countries as well. But right now, as we can see, these little tensions are on the rise over something that's very small compared to what's going to be going down the road you know our people that's caught up in protesting against these uh racist monuments they need to be trying to just focus on keeping yahweh's law statutes and commandments because we are captives 
in this place. Okay, your slave owners, they're going to fight for anything they can to maintain their history of us being their slaves. So we don't need to focus on trying to convince them otherwise that, hey, slavery was wrong. They should already have a social conscious of awareness of that. But these particular people that practice, you know, celebrating things that's uh, considered uh, racism as far as the history of a people that's, that's been conquered, belittled, and so forth, that's evil, man. So we, the children of Israel, we're supposed to practice righteousness, focus on these commandments, don't focus on all the other stuff because at the end of the day, we need to focus on going back home to Israel. Okay, that's our focus. So how are we going to do that? By keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. So right now we're going to read the book of Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 13, which Zechariah is going to reiterate what we read uh, in the book. What's that thing? Uh, read in the video uh, that we uploaded uh, a while back, uh, doing uh, based upon the purge scenario. Uh, we read uh, the prophet Ezra mentioned the race wars uh, or the purge-like scenario, and then we also read it in the book of Isaiah, and also we read it in the book of Matthews, where the Black Messiah had mentioned about nations shall rise against nations. Okay. Um, so we're going to go to Zechariah chapter 14, verse 13. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that a great tumult from Yahweh shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. So that's going into what we already know, what we established in the other uh, books as far as what other prophets mentioning that this is going to be your purge like scenario okay so these scriptures cannot be broken notice what the beginning of this verse said and it and it shall come to pass in that day so it's going to happen okay this is what the bible is saying so don't take your anger out on me or any other brother that's out there teaching this word okay yahweh already set it in stone a race war and also a purge like scenario will take place unfortunately so the thing that we need to do children of israel we need to come back to yahweh's law statutes and commandments so we can make it up out of here okay uh, this is the whole purpose of us going out to the streets to edify you to show you what you need to do you know, because many of our people take this Bible uh, for a joke. So what we're going to do is follow the instructions Yahweh said. This is how we're going to get through this thing. Okay. We're going to go to Zephaniah 2 and 1. This is a blueprint how we're going to survive this thing. Okay. Uh, this is Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. It says, gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation not desire. So the children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are not the nation is I. So what are we supposed to do? Gather together like the prophet Zephaniah stated. It says Zephaniah 2, uh, chapter 2, verse 2. It says, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh come upon you, before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you. So we're supposed to be gathering together as a nation of people, come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments okay and then it says zephaniah 2 and 3 seek seek ye yahweh all ye meek of the earth talking about the children of israel the meek which have wrought his judgment seek righteousness seek meekness it may be ye shall be hid in the day of yahweh's anger so again we know when we come back as a nation as the children of israel we're going to be hid hid or protected in the day of Yahweh's anger. So this is what the instructions. How we going to what? Be saved in that day. Because we sought out our brothers and sisters. That was in this truth. This Hebrew Israelite truth. We didn't seek out their religion. Rioting. We didn't seek out of that stuff. We seek righteousness. You know which is the Yahweh's law. Statutes and commandments. That's what righteousness is. Okay Israel. 
Uh, other than that, Israel, it's just a quick lesson just to let it be known that tensions are going to increase over a process of time. So it behooves us to get our mind, body, and soul right according to these scriptures so we can inherit everlasting life that's promised to us based upon the covenant that Yahweh made with our forefathers. Other than that, Israel, stay tuned for more videos and uh, subscribe to this um subscribe to our youtube channel king the builders of israel lnc uh youtube channel and also share these videos if you can with family members to uh, get this truth out so we'll be properly prepared on what we need to do as a nation other than that israel that includes this lesson shalom hey,
Move! 